Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today I am going to talk about a case study in which we are going to improve the NPS, which is Net Promoter Score for an electronic measurement company. So let's begin. Before we go ahead and get into the case study, let us first understand what is NPS and how it is measured. NPS is Net Promoter Score. It is a survey which measures customers' loyalty by identifying customers as promoters, neutrals or detractors. Essentially, NPS data is captured by asking how likely are you to recommend company ABC? Customers then answer on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, which is then used to calculate the NPS score and identify the promoters, neutrals and detractors of your brand. Promoters are those who answers 9 or 10 on an NPS survey. Passives or neutrals are the customers who answers 7 and 8 on an NPS survey. They are not likely to harm a business with negative word of mouth, nor are they likely to recommend the business. They are just unenthusiastic and may switch to a competitor who offers something new or more interesting. Detractors are the customer who rate your brand between 0 to 6. Detractors are not happy with the company and are likely to share their negative experience online and with friends and family. Let us understand the formula. NPS percentage can be calculated. Number of promoters minus number of detractors divided by total number of respondents into 100. For example, if we received 100 responses to a survey, 10 responses were detractors, 20 responses were neutral, and 70 responses were promoters, then the NPS percentage will be 70 minus 10 divided by 100 into 100, which is 60%. I hope this clarifies what is NPS and how it is calculated. So let's begin with the case study. An electronic company who is developing the appliances, they are receiving a low NPS score for the last two cycles. Company wants to improve NPS score. For that, they created a Six Sigma team led by a black belt. So it was observed over the last two years that the NPS score is 54% and 52% respectively. And the company wants to improve it to 65%. Keeping all this in mind, they created a project charter. Project charter has six elements, business case, problem statement, goal statement, scope of the project, milestones, and then a team charter. Keeping all that in mind, they took a goal to improve the NPS score of customer service business from 53% to 65% by June 2022. The scope of the project is, in scope is customer service business and out of scope is the rest of the other departments. The project started on 14th March 2022 and they wanted to finish that by 30th June 2022. The team charter includes sponsor. The sponsor of the project is the company CEO. The champion is vice president customer relations. Mentor is Mohit Sharma. Process owner is service delivery leader. And the team members are ABC and XYZ. Keeping all this in mind, team created army chart and communication plan. Army chart helps all the stakeholders to understand their roles and responsibilities in different phases of the project. Like A stands for approver, who will approve the project. R stands for resource, who is the resource like SME in the project. M stands for member. Member is somebody who will help in data collection, implementing solutions and things like that. And I would be informed. So it could be that senior stakeholders could be informed in some of these phases. They will not be approving all these phases. Team wanted to finish this project on time. So they created a communication plan and then they followed this communication plan. And then the team decided to do a brainstorming session. The problem is low NPS score. Then they identified why the NPS score is low. It is aggressive billing that they were doing. They were missing their turnaround time on daily SLAs. The feedback process to the team is not standard. Customer query is not resolved in a defined time. Associates are not trained properly. There were unplanned leaves during the week. 
there were forecasting issues and customer type could be commercial or individual customers they thought that individual customers or commercial customers give them different nps scores under machine they had system issues which delays their services network is down this leads to delay in the service the printer not working leading to delay in the gate pass and hence the product is reaching the end customer late commonly used parts are not available tools for repair are missing and parts are costly were some of the causes under material under measurement wrong time estimations are provided for repair and service the week of the month could be one of the issues uh, because in the last week of the month the team is busy with some other activities and they were not repairing and providing the services to the end customer the day of the week could also be one of the reasons of low nps then the team created a data collection plan in which they uh, identified what is the project y and which all are the project x's and then they collected the data for 3 months for 100 customers total number of responses were 100 71 were promoters 11 were neutrals and 18 were detractors so the nps score in this case is 53% So the team collected some of this data and it has been kept in mini tab for analysis so let us understand how the analysis on nps score can be done with the help of hypothesis testing in column c1t i have status which states detractor promoter or a neutral response from a customer the first x that we are going to test is customer type whether it is an individual customer or a commercial customer the second x is turnaround time whether it is a low turnaround time or high turnaround time and the visit is a multiple visit or a single visit for the appliance to be repaired or serviced because my y is discrete and my x is are also discrete so i will use chi square test the path for chi square test is stat tables chi square test for association in rows we will enter status and in columns we will enter customer type and we will click okay p value of this test is greater than 0.05 which means that customer type is not a significant contributor to the project y which is nps score so let us see the second x if you press control e you reach to the previously used screen in mini tab so i have pressed control e to reach this point under rows we will have status and under columns we will enter turnaround time which is column c3 p value of this test is less than 0.05 which indicate that turnaround time is a critical x or is a significant x when the turnaround time is high the detractors are 14 the expected detractors are 5.13 in this case it means if the turnaround time is high if we are taking more time to repair or service the probability of customer becoming a detractor is high moving on to the next x which is visits i am pressing control e in rows we will have status and in columns we will enter c4 which is visit p value of this test is also less than 0.05 which indicates that it is a contributing or a significant x see under multiple visit the number of detractors are 15 and we are expecting only 6.27 detractors which suggests that when we have multiple visits for repair or calibration or for service of the product the number of detractors can go up so it means if we want to reduce the number of detractors so we need to reduce the turnaround time and we need to service and repair the product in single visit so after doing that data analysis team identifies some of the significant excess so first one is high service turnaround tat high repair turnaround tat inconvenient billing process and multiple visits were some of them which were, which have been further studied so why why analysis was conducted to identify the solutions to this problem high service turnaround time is because of less staff why 
because the forecasting of the workload is not done and when there is no forecasting done you can't recruit appropriate staff and hence the staff was short so the forecasting model which was used is not forward looking it means it was only using the earlier sales that we have made or earlier services that we have done for our customers the numbers it was not forward looking what can be the demand in the coming future that was not part of this forecasting model so the solution is to create a forward looking forecast for high repair turnaround time we wanted to stock high demand parts in local warehouses for inconvenient billing processes we provide budget for software and server updates so that the billing process is smooth multiple visits why we had multiple visits because all defects are not identified in one go and why this was happening because the repair engineers are not trained properly and why they were not trained because there was no training provided on the new appliances launched so we said we provide periodic training to all the staff members so then all these solutions were implemented by using 4w1h which is what is to be implemented where it is to be implemented who will implement by when and how it has to be implemented so a control plan is created in which all these implemented solutions were controlled by another person so they used to check these particular controls on a frequency and it has to be checked by some operations manager some logistics manager some it managers and training manager by implementing all of these solutions the team was able to improve their nps score to 80% in the next 3 months so which was great achievement so friends i hope you really like this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends i'll see you in my next upcoming video till then take care bye bye